Hello, and, and welcome, welcome to Maple, Maple Squared. Are I making my teeth? No, do I? What? <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, everybody. What just happened? Do you know what just happened? Do you know what just happened? <laughs> the Grammys just happened, and with the Grammys came a whole bunch of cool, cool, cool costumes. Did you know the Grammys were like happening? I did. It, are they always at this time of the year? That like, I don't know. Like, is it always the same month? Because <laughs> yeah, like I, I feel like I Grammys usually knowledge. know when the Grammys is happening. Yeah, I feel like around this time of year, like it, it's kind of like when the New Year. It's like same time as the Oscars. You know what's no. weird about this type of thing? I usually don't know what's going on until the day after because then everyone's talking about it. But it feels like during everyone's just watching. Yeah, the only reason I knew this was happening is because Lana Del Rey got nominated for Album of the Year and didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though. Who won Album of the Year? Uh, I guess. Billy? Yeah. She won like every grade. It is written. <laughs> You can't argue with it. You can't really. I tried to watch the uh, performance that she did at the Grammys, and it's the video's blocked in Canada. So. What? Why? <laughs> Are you serious? I tried, I tried to find it everywhere, and everywhere it was blocked in Canada, so I was like... Canadians can't handle it. It's too good. <laughs> I just want to see your sing when the party's over. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we are going to be reviewing Grammy outfits. We did this for Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. And it went great. Used a discerning lens. Oh, but who did we get in trouble for not knowing? Who was that? Evan Peters. Yes, I will, will never forget. You guys set us straight. We're now number one fans. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to not think about Evan Peters since that day. Me too, honestly. So I nice. made darn sure that I remember, <laughs> even though I forgot again. That's okay. Though. I know the face though. We don't need, we don't need comments about it. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, so Tate has found five or more, whatever, and then I've found five as well. We don't know if we have any overlapping, but we're going to exchange, react, all that. We'll put it on the screen for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy. Let us get into this. Let's get into it. Should we, like, scooch over a bit so that I can, like, put it up next to us? Oh, sure. Okay, do you want me to show you one first? Yeah, you go first. I'm assuming you have not seen this yet. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't get a ton of press. We've got Lola. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Nobody's posting this. We were just this. talking about it. <laughs> he is in like a. F oh, also in this here picture, he's with Billy Ray, which just makes it all that much better. I like that you just said in this here picture. <laughs> it's, it's like kind of cowboyish. <laughs> Honestly. In this here picture. I really respect um, both of these men. I do too. And, and like, enjoy. I like how like one's all black, one's all pink. It's and they're really both cool. cowboys. They're like a different spin on cowboys. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine like the Grammys. That's like a long event. Like that's like four or five hours. Wow, I didn't even think Can of that. Can you imagine him sitting? The noises he makes while sitting probably. Like with, cause this all looks like a pleather of sorts. <laughs> So it would be like one of those like, eh, eh. like that is not a comfortable outfit. Billy Ray on the other side. Yeah, he probably wears that at home. That's comfortable. Since we're on the subject of cowboys, okay. why don't I show you this picture of a new Canadian artist called Orville Peck. Okay. Hanging out with Diplo. This is the outfit we're focusing on. Wow, I like love it. It's really I cool. I hate hey? to say it, but I, 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 I like love it, it more oh, than I, Lil Nas. Honestly, me too. Like, this is like very interesting. Have you seen any of his other outfits? No. Oh my goodness. Is he an outfit queen? He's like an amazing country musician. Okay. From, from our home country. Canada. Which is cool. I wonder if he's his own stylist or if someone is styling him because I would be interested to hear. It's hard to say. Anyway. Very cool. Okay, well, like, should we rate these out of 10? We always, like, start rating stuff, and then, like, <laughs> five minutes into the video while I'm editing it, I'm like, we abandoned the rating system, like, halfway through. I feel like we have to rate it, though. We'll rate it. Okay, Lil Nas, I give 10. Billy Ray, I give 9.8. I don't know, 8. I feel like he could have threw on a little bedazzle. <laughs> I think maybe, like, one stud, just like a big stud. Just, like, one big stud front and center. Orville Peck, 
11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. I was thinking like... He looks pretty cool. He looks so cool. <laughs> like, always looks so I'm cool. like afraid and intrigued at the same time. We'll listen to some of his music later. You'll vibe. Okay, I really don't want to get hated on for like not knowing certain people's names. It's not that I don't know who they are. It's just that I don't know their names. There's a like, lot of people out there. It's the same with songs and movies. It's like I often will know the plot or like the lyrics, mm -hmm. but I don't know the name. This leads into this... Stunning human being. I'm so interested. I don't know his name. Him, him. And oh yeah, <laughs> I have this one too. I just, I don't know who this is. I don't either. I feel like we, we have to check. Should we know who this person is? Grammy. Because like so many people go to the Grammys, right? Like artists go to the Grammys and writers go to the Grammys too, I think. He got voted majorly best dress, so. It is really awesome. Don't look at these. Some of these might be okay. the ones I pick. I will look at anything. Ever. Billy Porter. Yeah. Who's Billy Porter? I'm Googling who this is. Please. This is gonna be another freaking one that we're gonna get. Like, this is gonna be like. Oh, yeah. I can oh, see it now. Oh, no. We, I've definitely seen his looks on. Oh, but the. He was this. He was this guy oh. who wore the dress suit. Okay, I have seen him everywhere. What does what? he do though? An American Broadway theater performer. That's why we wouldn't know. We don't know Broadway. I don't know anything about theater. I want to get to know Broadway <laughs> now that I've seen his outfit. Now that I see what it can produce. <laughs> I'm going to show you something. You might not know who this person is. Okay, wait, we got to rate it. Oh yeah. See, there you go. I was trying to, I was trying to lose the plot. It's just like 10. I'm giving it a 12. A 12? <laughs> A 12? We need to create a rating system of some sort because like we give everything 10s at the beginning and then everything that beats it we just climb from like 10 to like 15 or whatever. They get it. You guys get how we feel about it. You them. get that we just like everything. I have one that I know I don't like. Okay. And that's why I put it in. I'm gonna show you put it in to be controversial. I understand. It did. I'm gonna show you something you might not like. There's a musician named Iggy Pop. Okay. Lots of punk music from like the 60s and 70s. I know Iggy Pop. You know Iggy Pop? Cool. That's what he wore to the Grammys. What kind of shoe is that? Is that a sandal? Is one a platform and one not? It kind of looks like it, right? Um, it's the size of the suit jacket and then also with like no shirt on underneath. <laughs> Very serious man. True. He's very serious man. I love him. He makes amazing music. Yeah, like that's why like, okay, but we can't judge it on the people they are. That's we have true. to judge their outfits, Purely which is outfit. really hard. No like, personality involved whatsoever. It's all out. I really don't want to be rude, but honestly, like I'm going to give it a six. I was thinking six too. I'm just going to say like, it's a six. But at the same time, like, he can he can do whatever he wants. Absolutely. Like, he doesn't have to, like, prove himself to anybody. Very you know? true. Like, That's with the, true. with the life he's led and with, like, the career he's had, like, he could literally show up in... My only thing anything. with that, though, is I hope that he is behind this outfit, not a stylist. Yes. Because if he's behind it, I honestly would rate it higher. If a stylist is behind it, I think they did him dirty. If he's behind it, then it's like he just was like... He just wanted to wear it. He's like, whatever, I'll just put this on. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll just wear this and my sandals. Yeah, but if a stylist is behind it... <laughs> then what are you doing? Like, this is not stylist a, work. a firm discussion with his style. Too. A real heart-to-heart -heart with his stylist. Let's kind of quit, think he let's quit shaming this man. <laughs> Shame on you, actually. I, think. I mean, I would look ugly <laughs> at the Grammys. <laughs> So I'd like a four. You didn't have to insult him personally. <laughs> That's true. I don't know why I went so hard in. Good on thing him. I good thing I edited that out. Oh my god. <laughs> when you really went in. <laughs> Did you see Lana Del Rey's outfit? Yeah, very pretty. Did you hear about it? No. Okay, well there was, the reason why this is so iconic is because someone like asked her where she got her dress because everyone gets their dresses like, basically a lot of people get everything custom made like months in advance. Makes sense. I guess she went to the mall and bought it. Did she actually? <laughs> and people found it's like a $150 dress. Oh, come and on. And she just went to the mall and bought it. That's and everyone awesome. was like, what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Like, what? Is this dress? And she was like, I got it at the mall. That's so awesome. <laughs> I know, right? That's really awesome. Like, could you like her anymore? I didn't think I could. I give 10. 10. 10. <laughs> if you guys uh, know anything about me, I've been a huge, huge Lana Del Rey supporter since I was like 15. It's true. She's just so awesome. Oh, oh. it's my turn. I never know <laughs> if anyone has like actual scandals that have happened, but if Lana Del Rey did, I would be like pretty sad. 
That'd be a bummer. Yeah, she like, seems like very certain cool. people. It's like I is like I hope not, and then other people, it's like I'd actually be affected. Like Dwayne. She, like obvi oh. <laughs> If Dwayne ever did anything, like, I would be, like, seriously hurt Papa and, like, Dwayne. upset. Papa Dwayne. Oh, I love Dwayne. <laughs> He's so, so awesome. Much. His smiling face. I don't think he will literally ever have a scandal. Like, I would bet money, bet life, bet all. Here, you know what? I'll show you another controversial one. Oh, my gosh. But okay. this one, this one, um, you won't feel as bad about crap. Jared about. Leto. It's not <laughs> No, no, I would not feel bad about that at all. Okay. It is Skrillex. Oh no, I don't even want to open. He actually looks like good. I don't want to sound rude, but like when he had the whole half shave, like his like kind of more rough emo looking phase, like I didn't really think he had this underneath. Yeah, I love Skrillex's music. I was like into dubstep back in the day. He's like a product of his time for sure. Totally. He was just on like the bandwagon of the looks or maybe uh -huh. not on the bandwagon, but ex that was his expression. Times have changed and like looks have changed and like his, he's changed with them. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm actually so surprised. I did not know that's what Skrillex looked like. It's like, not at all. It's a really cool chill outfit. I like it. Yeah. Actually. It's, it's like, it's very it's relaxed. Pretty basic. I like the shoes. The, it, it's the like docks. basic with mixes of him, I feel like, like to do the docks. And like, obviously he always has the big, the big earrings. Yeah, the big uh, plugs. Yeah, is that plugs, what they're called? I think. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 10, I'm actually impressed. Yeah, sure. I was really expecting to open my eyes and see like shutter shades. True. Like I didn't know that this happened. I don't know when it happened. I found a pair of shutter shades at work the other day. I know, that was literally oh, yes. yesterday. <laughs> I sent you a picture, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a controversial one. <laughs> because you've been pulling out all the stocks. Okay, this actually isn't really controversial worldwide. I just think it's more funny. Okay. Okay, let me just say like, it's not controversial at all. It's just like no one was talking about this. <laughs> we got DJ Khaled. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, his uh, outfit looks like his music sounds. <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken like so many different ways. I'm not going to clarify that point. I mean, I just think DJ Khaled is like funny. He's funny. Like he's not really trying to be funny. I think he's funny. kind of a, I think like deep down he like knows that he's kind of a comedian a bit. You think? You think like he's, he's like doing a character a little bit? He's gotta be, right? Right? I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean either. Like he looks good. Don't construe this as us being mean, okay? <laughs> We're being discerning. There's a difference. I'll give it a seven. Maybe he left his house in socks and forgot his shoes or maybe he was like somebody he was maybe he was somewhere else before the grammys and like he was like bring my shoes and they were like which ones and he was like the red ones and he meant like red dress shoes yeah that would have been a better statement i feel like but they brought red nikes i really like this me too i think that like this is super funny oh yeah it's so awesome is he like trying to be kind of quirky oh yeah okay 100 percent. because that's he's how playing it comes a, off this album that came out is called igor and he like kind of plays a character a bit okay i think you've probably seen it it's like the bowl cut yeah like even how he's posing in this one like on the carpet like he's fully just looking straight forwards like this yeah like this is pretty good like i feel like this is how you do the grammys if you want to like really be a character mm -hmm. and like the suitcase and his pants are <laughs> so suitcase. short like look how short his pants are i love it i love it i really like this and i like that it's pink he's not like a he's not like your regular like concierge type yeah like a, he's not like a like uh, it's like it stepped up what's the name what's the name home alone <laughs> <laughs> the name of the concierge in sweet life of zach and cody are you kidding me esteban esteban yeah that's right it's not like an esteban outfit no it's like esteban elevation this is like what esteban puts on after he's off work to go party i'll give it a 10. i will also give it a 10. here we go this is obvious and you have to be honest I'm ready to be honest. Billy. It's not her best work. It's quite cool. I might, I may have been too. It's not her best work. I will say that much. Okay. I think it's cool. I think that something about the way that the coat blends with the pants doesn't really hit it for me. I think it's really good. <laughs> you like it, hey? And I'm not even like, I just think that she, her style as a whole 
is really cool. I'm with you. Like, I feel like nobody else does it. And also, I like that she doesn't lose style just because she has to go to, like, this event. Yeah, she just, like, does what she wants. I think that's cool, too. I think it's really cool. And not only that, if we're back on the thing of comfort, everything she wears looks very comfortable to That's me. also, yeah, could you imagine wearing that? Like, you're, like, literally in pajamas, like, big baggy pajamas. True. I like all of it. It's, it's not, in my opinion, better than that hat that she had of the jewels hanging down. That was really cool. Mm. But I think it's, I like it. So you're a hater. I'm a hater for this, I think. <laughs> I'm like giving it a 10. <laughs> I love her new evolution of like getting really long nails. Yeah, that's that has true. not been a thing very long. Like maybe like six months of that. Did you see the, she stabbed herself with the nail by accident? I didn't see. It was, she had like sharp ones. And then she like posted on her Twitter that she like did something and like accidentally stabbed her hand. They're extremely long. Like from going from, <coughs> thank you. From going on having no nails to that long, just like that in itself, 10. That's a testament. Okay. I, I would know. I would know. Wait, I have one that kind of goes along with it. You know how I would know? I'll show you how I would know. <laughs> right there. That's how I would know. Get on my head. I feel like the crazier ones get higher scores for me because I just personally like that more. I get that. Are you ready for, should we do the last one? Sure. All right. I have Ozzy Osbourne. What can be said that hasn't already been said? Oh, and his daughter. Oh, cool. I was wondering, I was like, I love Sharon, her hair. Sharon looks weird in that. <laughs> Sharon's gotten some work done. <laughs> I think it's cute, honestly, I that she- it's really cool yeah. that, that him and her win. I do too, I think it's very cute. I also like that his cane is completely rhinestone studded. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like, when you actually start looking at the details, you're kind of like, like, this? I don't know, wow. those are like, Louis Vuitton or something, I'm not sure. I give 10. 10. <laughs> cool jacket too. Also, I did get BTS as well. Yeah, I pulled that picture up and I was just like, what a beautiful group of human beings. <laughs> like they literally all color coordinated. Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> I want... Drop that name in the comments. I don't know who that is, but. <laughs> Which one's that one? Uh, who's that guy? I think this is a good group. Every outfit is different yet put together. Like they're clearly a group, which True. I like. They, I feel like they naturally could have put this together, but I feel like it's a stylist. And to them, I say round of applause. They all were like meeting at one person's place beforehand and they all showed up in those outfits uncoordinated. And we're just like, this actually sort of works. <laughs> Honestly though, like now that I've put my hand over their faces, the outfits are really not That's doing it as good. much. That's good. <laughs> We're literally going to get beat up on the street for this. <laughs> People are going to like find us and beat us up. Don't get me wrong. If we, if, uh, so, also sorry that we don't know any of their names. Sorry I, that we suck at keeping up on current events. <laughs> All we listen to is Adam Lambert, okay? Yeah. Speaking of which, should break. Adam Lambert go to the Grammys? Adam Lambert wins best single again for If I Had You. <laughs> Ten years in a row. You and this. me, yep, with the black color line of girls in triple heels, boys in a minute. Maserati's in the knee in this world, it's in love. Trying to rival, trying to find it. And if I had you, 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 you. And then we just end it right there. Okay. <laughs> I got like every word wrong. We get copyrighted for that. Honestly, when you're in key that good. When you nail it like that. We thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you. If you guys like us reviewing these or if you need something else, let us know down below. <laughs> if you need something else, get in touch. Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.